Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have some exciting news. I am engaged to the love of my life. And I wanna make my own wedding dress. There's a couple reasons why I wanna make my own wedding dress. One, I really want something unique and fitted to my body. Two, I have the skill set. I have a fashion design degree and I also worked as a tailor. Three, all my friends and family are asking me constantly if I'm going to make my own wedding dress. I know if I buy a dress, everyone is gonna be like, oh my God, did you make that? And I'm gonna be like, no, I didn't make it. And that's a little embarrassing, so. <laughs> have to make my own dress. Surprisingly, my mom is the only person who doesn't want me to make a wedding dress. Um, I think she doubts me a little bit, but also I know that she wants to have that in-person experience at the dress shop where you go in and you try the dress and like you say yes to the dress and you know, just like the shows. So I can't, I can't be too, too mad. I will be using this pattern. It's a store-bought pattern. It has like a fitted bodice. It's fitted at the body and then it flares out. It has a lot of godets and a godet is like a triangle insert that adds fullness by the way. I'm going to make a prototype of the dress with a muslin fabric, which is an unbleached cotton. So I can get a feel for how the pattern looks, how the silhouette looks on me, how much sewing this is before I buy, you know, expensive silk. So yeah, let's get into it. Step one, I'm cutting out my pieces in a muslin, which is a sample fabric. It's not the real fabric. And I'm starting off with the bodice. Here, I'm just basting the bodice. I cut out all the pieces. Next is the center front. So I pinned the center front and then I sewed it up until that point. Then I insert the godet. I pinned that. I am going to sew at half of an inch seam allowance. And the godet gives fullness. It looks like a little triangle. I'm pressing everything, because you know, you gotta press. The next area that I'm going to work on is the center back and the center back godet. It's really similar to the front. I actually forgot one pattern piece, so I have to cut two more. We're getting back into the swing of things. The other day, I realized I forgot to cut out one godet. Well, like one pattern piece for two go days. And I was so confused, I was like, wait. <laughs> so uh, I cut it out and then I was like, I don't wanna film. <laughs> but here, here we are, it's another day. As you can see, I have the center back and now I'm going to do the two side backs. I sew up until the point where the go day is going to be and then I pin the go day in and I sew it in. Something is actually wrong with this pattern piece. I don't know why the side back is too short. I am just gonna go ahead along with it. This is the hem of the skirt. As I said, this one is too short for some reason. I don't know why. And then I make a little mark. I will sew up until there. It's looking very cool though. I have three Godet patterns left. I have Godet side, Godet side front, and this is Godet side back. And now I figured out why it seemed like one part of the skirt was shorter in length than the other. The Godet is not like a perfect triangle. One side of the Godet is shorter than the other side. One side flares out a little bit more than the other. So that's the reasoning. This doesn't look right to me. I feel like these pieces are supposed to be. That looks like a more natural curve. Just to reiterate, it's gonna be something like that. Sometimes it's just easier for me to visualize on the mannequin. I am sewing another godet. How many times am I gonna say godet in this video? I don't know. Did you even know what a godet was? Now you know. Learn something new every day, that's what it looks like. Giving fullness. Time to press all the godets. I am pressing the seams, and I'm using this uh, shark iron, which I really like. 
pressing is super essential. You have to press at every step. I know it's annoying, but it really makes a huge difference. I'm pressing the bodice part as well. Um, I'm pressing the seams flat. I actually recommend using a tailor's ham. I like chotched this up a little bit. It looks a little like wrinkly because I didn't use the tailor's ham. That's just my two cents. Hey, so I ironed these pieces. My next step is to sew the center seam. And I wanna start working on the back panel as well. This is the back bodice. Like this part is the center back. So this is what the back will look like. When tracing the pattern, I added seam allowance all around, like extra seam allowance to all the pattern pieces. So some places I had to adjust, like this seam here, I'm using the original seam allowance, not the extended one. And here for the neckline and the armhole, I realized that I have to trim it down because now the armhole is a little bit too tight. So I should have stuck to the original. I think the next step is to do the skirt side front, attach it to the center front piece and do those two go days. I'm repeating the process again. I am placing the panel right side to right side. Then I pin up to the point where the godet will start. So it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. I'm gonna sew up until that point. Almost done with the skirt. So as you can see, the side front godets are pinned in. I'm going to sew those in at half of an inch seam allowance. It's starting to come together. I am going to sew this side seam together and put the godet in. I'm gonna sew this side seam with a really long stitch length with like a five because this side needs a zipper. Since I made this pattern bigger, one thing that I did realize is that the top is not as wide as the waist, so they're not going to fit. So I have to measure this because this might actually be too big on me, or maybe the top is too small. I haven't fully decided if I'm gonna make my wedding dress, but I mean, this is a good way to test it out. I've been engaged for about two months now. I got engaged at the end of June. I was on a trip to Montauk with my boyfriend at the time, now fiance. He proposed and I was crying. We had our engagement party at my parents' house. We rented one of those tents. We put string lights everywhere in the tent. My mom did all the flower arrangements and they came out stunning. I wore a cowl neck dress that I designed and we had a great time. It was so much fun. As I expected, this part, the skirt is too wide at the waist to match the bodice. I'm going to have to take it in here at these seams and take them in a little bit at the back. I have to fix this part before I do the godets. And obviously the raw hem, you won't be able to see the raw hem. And this will obviously be attached to this. Maybe for the next one, I'll try out an off the shoulder dress. I'm not sure, but this is cute too. This is like super like classy. As you can see, I took in the seam allowances so it would be a better fit. And in the back as well. I'm basting this together because it's just easier sometimes than pinning. I love a close-up moment. Sew that up real quick. I posted a little IG story for my progress. This is what it's looking like so far. I think the back is very cool. I think it's very flattering. Um, I didn't do like the lining part, so 
keep in mind this would be about like half an inch thinner on the neckline and armholes. So I'll have to add in a zipper. Look at the train. Very cool. Hello, it is another day. Now I'm working on the lining part for the bust to clean finish the top. Side note, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a white dress while sewing, it's because I went and tried on some wedding dresses with my mom. We went to the bridal shop. Um, I didn't like any of the dresses though. So, you know. This is the dress inside out. And here is the bodice part. It's the same pattern pieces for the lining. So I am going to attach this right side to right side. This is the final wedding dress prototype. I love the way it fits. I love that it's fitted at the top and then it flares out at the bottom. This dress has like a lot of godets. So I like the flare, the train. I love the open back. I think the only thing I would change is maybe make the train a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I still wanna try out different wedding dress patterns, but I hope you like this video and I'll see you for the next one.